KBR 680. One of the names of, of uh, the spring so far, and they like him. He's a right-handed hitter. I'm not many in camp like him. That's Justin Maxwell. How's the spring going for you? Uh, so far, so good. You know, I'm happy to be a part of this team, and uh, you know, going to do my best to break with the uh, team on opening day. How did you get here? Uh, you've been in the big leagues for a while, and all of a sudden now you're in the Giants organization. Yeah, I was a free agent um, after my time last year with the Royals, and. Uh, you know, Bobby Evans brought me over, and uh, they were really pushing to get me in the free agency process. So um, this was definitely the first team on my list. All right, you mentioned the magic word, the Royals, which comes to mind. Of course, the playoffs in the World Series. Mm -hmm. Tell us your uh, relationship to it and what you thought of uh, how the whole playoff went. Well, it was pretty neat seeing my old teammates, you know, make it that far, and you know, even to Game Seven of the World Series, it was a tough pill to swallow. And, uh, <laughs> And the Giants won that last game, but uh, you know it was, it was neat seeing all my friends uh, get to play in that experience. Justin, uh, you're in the big league camp. You're an athlete, which you like to say, a right-handed hitter. Not many like that in the organization. When you look up and down the list, um, your career started where? Uh, Maryland. Uh, what were your choices coming out of high school? What positions did you play? So the fans get to know a little bit about you. Well, I'm from the Maryland area, and uh, I went to the University of Maryland. I got drafted out of high school by the Orioles in the 43rd round, but I decided to, uh, to go to school because my signing bonus wasn't as much as my uh, scholarship was worth. So, you know, that was a pretty easy choice uh, back in the day. Uh, but then I spent uh, four years in Maryland. I had to redshirt a year and then uh, ended up signing with the uh, Nationals in 2005 in the fourth round. Now at Maryland, great school, the Terrapins, now in the Big Ten. I don't know how that happened, but they are there. What did you major in? What was college life like for you? Oh, college was great. You know, we were in the ACC. We uh, won a basketball national championship. Our uh, football team went to a few uh, bowl games when I was there. So i uh, very proud of my, my school. It was a little weird going into the Big Ten, but uh, I guess it was a financial decision, which was uh, pretty important. But uh, they seem to be fitting in nicely. But uh, I study animal sciences, and I got my degree in 2005. Wow. And if you're not a baseball player, what would you be? Uh, probably an orthopedic surgeon. I've had a lot of experience with uh, surgeries from you know my playing days so far. So uh, I think that. All right. You've been in the big league. So how did you get it? What was your first time in the big leagues? Your debut as a major leaguer? Um, I got called up in 2007. And uh, my first hit was a grand slam. Never forget that. And. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty neat experience. Came from A-ball to the big leagues, and uh, you know, I got a little chance to play then, so that was fun. All right, I want to hear more about the Grand Slam. Who was it off of? What were the circumstances? Um, it was a pinch hit at bat uh, down at Sun Life Stadium, you know, before the new Marlins Park, yeah. and uh, it was a changeup, I think, a one-two count or o-two count. <laughs> Did you know you got all of it? Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> okay, all right, Justin Maxwell with us. Uh, but you've been in the big leagues. Uh, you've been with a couple of organizations. Take us through the, a little bit of the travel, because you're still, how old are you? You're still a young man. How old do I look? I'd say you look about 27. <laughs> okay, and I'm 31, so that's a good sign. Very good. You yeah, good. I'll take the minus yeah, You look like me. All right, good. <laughs> um, you know, I, I spent my first five years with the Nationals, and I got picked up by the Yankees, was with them for a year in AAA, and another spring training with them before I got picked up by the Astros in 2012. I remember that. And I uh, played the year with them and a year and a half actually and then I got traded to the Royals in 13 at the trade deadline and that's been a year and a half with them so now, now I'm a giant. All right all right that's a good good timeline I like that all right so what's your challenge as a big leaguer obviously you have skills organizations like you what is what is your major skill why why do you get called up and what is your challenge? Well for me coming up in the national system they taught me how to play all three outfield, outfield positions which is a bonus for uh, you know playing in the National League and uh, that's given me some flexibility as I've gone to uh, around to other clubs and you know managers like that the sense that I can play you know wherever they need me and then uh, as far as you know the offensive side you know I got some pop and it's just a matter of being consistent on an everyday basis that's a, that's the main thing that separates like good big leaguers from guys who stay for a long time. Yeah. Well I love to watch an outfielder throw people out. Good arm? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good arm. Accurate. Try to keep the ball down. Hit the cutoff, man. My job is done. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want to do. Hit the cutoff, man, in life. That's the key to life is hit the cutoff, man. Um, you're now here. Uh, I remember your season with the Astros. Very impressive. A lot of power. Uh, was that your best season in the big leagues? Uh, that was my longest season, I guess. I had 300 and some of the bats. It was before I maybe have 100 here and there. So, you know, that was, a, that was a good experience to get out there almost every day. You know, I had to fight my way into the lineup because I came off 
came in off of waivers, but you know they gave me a chance to play, and I, you know, I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, was there a hitting coach along the way who made a big uh, impact for you? I mean, they've they've all been good. I've you know I've had a lot of different coaches, and um, they all just want to see, get the best out of their players. That's the one thing I admire about my coaches. Yeah. I wouldn't say there's just one guy, but um, you know I've had unique relationships with all of them, and they you know they always try to get me to be the best player that I can be. All right, so as a hitter, what's the biggest challenge? Is I, people want to be consistent. Is it laying off a screwball, a slider, the fastball, curveball? What, what's the challenge for you? I mean, timing is everything in hitting. And uh, for me, I have a long arm, so trying to keep my swing as short as possible, that's the key for me. So trying to get my body into a position where I can have a short, quick, consistent swing every time. All right, so how do you like being a giant and uh, being in this clubhouse? Is it different than the others you've been in? Um, it, it's uh, different in the, in the sense that the guys here seem like a family. Like everybody, you know, everybody's pretty close and they welcome me immediately when I came over here. And, you know, a lot of times you'll meet a veteran guy, they'll say hi, you know, keep on walking. But guys here ask questions and they, they want to get to know you as a player and as a person. Yeah, not as I said when we started this, not many right-handed power hitters around here. I mean, yeah, I'm sure you look around the clubhouse. Well, uh, that was one of the reasons why I signed here. You know, after I saw Mikey Mo go to the Marlins in free agency, I kind of felt like I can fill his void that he left here. You know, because he had a productive season last year, and uh, you know, I was a teammate with him in Washington. But uh, you know, just looking at the roster and looking at the needs of this team, I felt like this would be a, the best place for me to latch on. Yeah, when he says Mikey Mo, he means Michael Morse. Yep, that's right. Okay. All right, Justin, I appreciate having you on. This is good. I'm glad we had you on. I'm glad the fans can hear from you. You're going to get a good looking spring training. I'm sure the Giants have told you that. Well, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. And, uh, you know, I feel healthy. I feel ready to go. Very good. Glad to meet you. All right, more coming up on KMBR 680, the sports leader.